tough questions, new insights, diverse perspectives. Welcome to Questions of the Day with Fanuel Muindi. My name is Brian Mateus. I'm an undergrad student here uh, at the University of Los Andes in Bogota. And I co-manage a uh, university student group about birds. Uh, yeah. Uh, my name is Daniel Gutierrez. I just graduated from biology here at Universidad de Los Andes. And with Brian, we have uh, co-directed the Grupo Uniandino de Ornitología or Ornithological Student Group from Universidad de Los Andes for over two years now. Yeah. Well, so we are, have a very strong focus on scientific communication and letting people know, uh, especially Colombians, about our huge avian biodiversity. Um, so we're, uh, we're very interested in sharing uh, whatever knowledge we have on birds and being able to sh make that knowledge as accessible as possible. Yeah, so as part of our main activities, well, the group first, the group has existed over at least 20 years, but it's pretty intermittent. So we are managing it now, but we mainly focus on doing like birding tours here at the, uh, at the university and here at Bogota. We don't have that many birds, but we have a lot over two. Uh, a hundred uh, bird species. One very good thing about birds that uh, helps us a lot with this initiative is that birds are very accessible to the public. So they're very easy to see, people appreciate them fairly easily. And so uh, it is relatively easy to show people what birds do we have around the city and in general in the country. Our main focus and purpose of this group is to like give the people the um, like the power to be empowered of their birds because Colombia is the number one uh, country in, uh, in terms of uh, bird species. So we want the people to be able to know that and be empowered of what they have, right? So yeah, I think that's our main focus and also to develop like birding skills, which is required. You don't like see the bird and that's all. You have to have a little set of skills and we want to teach the people so our public it's mainly students but the students for all over the careers the yeah, majors many different majors yeah. uh, not only biology yeah so we are we want to let them that we want the people to know the amount of biodiversity we have here that's our main and main goal Th that is a great advantage that we have here in the university because our campus is not that big but it has a lot of green and being by the foothill of the Andes, which are considered one of the greatest hotspots of bird biodiversity in the world, um, not only in the amount of species that we can find, um, of net species, but also on the amount of species that, oh, that um, take over in each side. So like the species that we can see in the Andes here in Bogota, we are at 2,600 meters above sea level. Uh, will be very different than the ones that will be found just 500 meters yeah, lower or have. higher. So um, being by the foothill is very advantageous in that sense because we get over 70 species on our campus and many of them uh, are adapted or know how to dwell in an urban environment. So we mm -hmm. can show the public a lot of species and a lot of diversity as well. So some species that are very colorful and very charismatic in that sense, but then others that perhaps don't have very bright colors but have other characteristics so like their their vocalizations or their ecology mm. that is very unique or very, very special. So yeah, um, yeah many of like, like our participants get a good grasp of Andean birds just by going to our uh, bird watching tours in the university. Yeah, just for instance, as Daniel was saying, these birds are not down here in Bogota, but it's a great example of what he just said of colorful birds and not so colorful birds that are here. Like for example, this is a night owl, which is a journal and lives on the ground, which is pretty weird. And well, this we call here uh, him Balanquero. Uh, yeah, these are so as part of our activities, um, we want to share the birds that are not necessarily here in Bogota at the campus but in Colombia, in order to like give people that empowerment of knowing what that the birds they have, because most of the people don't know all of these colorful and beautiful birds. Um, I think joining our group is 
uh, mainly gives a space for bird, bird enthusiasts to interact with other people, um, regardless of their age, their background, their experience, or their professional development or career. Um, so I think that's one of the main contributions that we can have in our group, but also uh, as our group has been expanding, we can believe that we can also give the opportunity to younger researchers to get their first steps in doing research and learning what type of research we can do in ornithology. And hopefully we can contribute to um, teaching a new generation yes. with uh, what, whatever experience we have gained up to now in our careers. Yeah. I guess that that's part of our legacy. We want to give the people, the new researchers, like some tools in order to be able to do some new research about Colombian birds. Just uh, this semester, we expanded our our team, so we we wanted to get more people uh, on board for us to be able to expand our our impact. And I think we've been uh, fairly successful in that sense. So our team is now consist uh, comprised of of ten people, ten people, including yeah. the two of us. And we have some people focused on scientific communication, some people focused on, on more research, on research, some people focused on the logistical parts, which is fundamental to be able to yeah and all of them things. are students and the same as us and it's something really nice because uh some of them are biologists but others are are not so we have uh members that are that, ha that are studying literature that are studying psychology um and i don't remember what else but not of all of them are biologists so i think that's pretty cool because one thing that i uh, we have focused on in our group is that not only biologists go birding, all the people can go birding because it's part of like being in contact with nature, with animals. Birds are by far the easiest ones to see, right? Uh, so yeah, we we have like developed this new organization in order to get the group a more structured like sense of view. Yeah, at the end of the day, I think um, we are targeting. Um, or the goal that we are targeting is for Colombians to not only know, but appreciate the national treasure that we have here uh, in our country by having all of these huge diversity of birds and, and that, it, that, it, that is not found like this in any other part of the world. Like yeah. for, we have 2000 bird species for a fairly small country. Yeah. So that is a unique thing and it's something that we, aim for people to to recognize and and to appreciate to the point that birds have to be protected the environment has to be protected and it, it, it can seem like a very high goal but we've noticed that by doing small steps and by getting more people um thrilled with birds and hooked up on going to see birds uh we can hopefully eventually get a snowball effect and those people will then go on to uh, have their own influence in other people and so on and so forth. And hopefully we can put a little grain of sand in, in contributing to conservation of birds in Colombia.